In this video, we'll be looking for logical function, some more advanced. Let's see, we'll go with the AND function. Now, for example, I've given here some data here, but just for an understanding purpose, I've written here marks. When are the marks valid? The marks, let's say, assume the marks are valid when it is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 100. So if I put some marks, let's say 150, that should become as invalid. Here I've taken some scenario given here. So what are the two conditions it should satisfy for this scenario is this marks that is 100, it should be, or this marks, if I type here something, let's say uh, 45, this marks should be greater than 0 and the marks should be less than or equal to 100. So when this condition is satisfied, only then it is a valid mark. I can put it as a pass, fail, or I can put distinction. But if the marks are not within this range, it should go for invalid. Similarly, I, I'll just show you a formula here, equal to and, how do we type it? I have to put here logical test. I can keep on inserting logical test separated by comma. Very first logical test I'll put as T2 greater than, or I say as D2 should not be uh, less than equal to zero, and D2 should not be less than uh, equal to 100. It should not be greater than that. So I'll put as, select this cell, and say as it should be greater than equal to zero, comma, and I'll select the same cell and put as less than equal to 100. So if this two logical tests are correct, only then I can say as it is a valid test, then I can go and differentiate into pass, fail, distinction, and also in so options. So once I press enter, you see it says as false. Now if I just check it, what is the problem here? If this is correct, yeah, I've put the answer as 10, so it should be 100. So I'll put as 100, now the answer is correct. So now these are the two logical tests which the answer is satisfied. Similarly, if you see in this place, I've used here a function, if I double click on this place, and that's the function here, yeah. What is the function I've used? I've used AND condition inside the IF condition, and I've classified into fail, pass, and distinction. Let's see that. I've used a function that is this range. If it is greater than zero and less than 40, it should show me as fail, which is actually valid. Similarly, I've put another AND condition bit less uh, greater than equal to 40 and less than 60 it should show me as pass that's a pass i've written and next one is the last one it should be greater than uh, 60 equal to 60 and less than 100 then it comes as distinction if anything which is not in this range it says suppose it is less than 0 let's say minus 20 or greater than 100 let's say 150 so it should show me the answer as invalid so this function i've used in this place and once i press enter let's try out if it is 60, it's showing me as distinction. If I put as 150, it should show me as invalid. If I put as less than minus, let's say if I put minus 20, it again throw, throw me an answer as invalid. If I put as 40, answer is showing as pass. So this way you can utilize the AND function inside the IF functions and you can work on this a lot. So that's the range which I've kept it. So I hope you have understood. That's all for this video.